give up. Put down the gun. I'll let everyone leave. My crew and I will leave. We won't bother you anymore. AJ. She's not a threat. Lower the gun. You weren't down there. You didn't see what she did. She cut my friend's tongue out. You don't have to do this, please. It's a trick. Don't you fucking dare, AJ. Just give me the gun. You can't let her hurt anyone else. I don't want to die. Do it, AJ. Get it over with. Come on. What are you waiting for? We've got to move. That's enough, man. He's gone. For God's sake, Bobby! Get a goddamn hold of yourself! Well, I hope that made you feel better. A while ago, I had this vision. A vision regarding The Walking Dead. Most specifically, the future of The Walking Dead games. That vision was terrifying because it had a literally impossible choice. You see, Skybound Games, they own this franchise. They own the games, the shows, movies, comic books. All of these areas are working quite well for them. Except video games, which is debatable. Yeah, sure. Telltale made something else, completely out of this world. They took the Walking Dead gaming genre, which was a joke back then, and then took it to the next level. People loved it. They had plans to move on before the final season even started. So did Skybound. So it's no doubt that they'll think of, or at least plan, a future Walking Dead game, either with the same hashtag still not bitten team or a new company. They tried their luck with Overkill. There's this new Onslaught game, so the options are here, but it's up to Skybound. And I have no doubt that they'll make more Walking Dead games in the future. All they need is time, and what we need is patience. But that's the technical and business side of things. Nobody wants to hear that. Let's talk about the game itself. Now, I know that Season 5 is not confirmed yet, and I can tell you 100%, and this is where my vision comes in too, I am not making this up. Skybound will make Season 5, and not just Season 5, but they'll add some familiar faces in that game. So you might have already guessed from the title. Today, we're talking about a potential Season 5, but most specifically, a choice. A choice between two important chapters in the Walkie Dead Telltale history, and that is the Garcias and AJ. Now, this point comes in after the thought of Skybound planning to have a completely different set of characters, or at least a different main character that we're going to play as. However, this is where that main character will meet some familiar faces. I talked about my vision earlier. In that vision, it was too blur. I couldn't make out of it. But then I focused and focused and I saw a familiar face. And guess who it was? It was AJ from the final season. But then, without wasting much time, I saw another familiar face. And this time, it was Javier from Season 3. So it got me thinking, which character makes sense to return for Season 5? That is, if they are to be returned, or if there is a Season 5 to begin with. Does it make sense for any of these people to come back? Does it make sense for Javier to come back? Even if not for higher screen time, but just a small side character? Or what about AJ? Well, the possibilities are endless. But let's start with both of these cases. Let's try to fit them both, see what works and what doesn't. Let's start with Javier Garcia. Firstly, the possibility of him returning. You see, Season 3's ending, or New Frontier's ending, 
was probably the most open ending in the Walking Dead Telltale history with so many paths open to continue and take the story to and with. We thought that we'll see the Garcias again. Specifically, after seeing Javi and Kate, or that freaking garbage tin can, <coughs> survived in the finale. The doors were open for Telltale to pull the trigger once more and make Javi return. Obviously, he was one of the favorites in Season 3. Okay, he was the only likable character in Season 3. Before Season 4, Telltale had pressure from the fans. They were playing it safe. They already took the risk of going for a different story, a different character. Telltale was already planning for different stories, stories other than Clementine. Yet, Clem was still part of it. That was, or is, one of the reasons I believe that even if Clem's story is over, the Walking Dead world, universe, have a lot of stories to tell still. Javier, sure, got a closure in some way, but there are still questions left to answer as well. What happened with him and Jesus? How did he lead the group? How did he deal with other people, trading, etc.? Yet we also learned that Lily's group Delta was after some more groups. One of them was Richmond. And Richmond at the time when we left it belonged to Javier. And the final season came after season 3, which means his leadership skills were tested heavily and there's bound to be some massive stuff that happened with him and his group. Which could lead to, drumroll, the caravan from season 4's ending. <laughs> Now, I'm not saying that the caravan was or is Richmond's people, aka Javier and the company, but what I'm trying to say is that Javier must have had connections with other groups. These groups feed off of each other to survive. That's how the Walking Dead universe works. They feed off, trade off of each other. Javier, in this case, after losing his place to Delta's attack, or even a group bigger than Delta, people who lost their places in this war must have gotten together to form another group just to survive. That caravan that was mentioned in Season 4's ending could include these people. It's not a far-fetched theory, and fans might not take any offense if Skybound make him return to the Walking Dead games. Just not as a main character, because that literally flipped the entire fan base, and you don't want that. But then again, there's a possibility of Javier not ever returning. You see, Season 3 is universally not liked. As in, people really don't like it. They really don't. Fans have criticized it from poor writing, to really unrelatable characters, to meh plot, to decent ending. The overall experiences isn't worth it, from reviews and opinions we've read from players. We also know that Telltale mentioned specifically that the Garcias are never returning. They said that it's because their story is over. We say it's more than that. But regardless, it's something Skybound would likely want to stay away, as they don't want any negative backlash. They barely stepped into the gaming industry. Kind of, since they already were helping Telltale before. So it's likely they want to stay away from big risks. Risks that could potentially tick fans out of this franchise before it even cements Skybound's legacy in the Walking Dead games for the future. And it kind of makes sense from a story point as well. You don't want an already explained story to be told again. Yeah, sure if they could make something completely different, but I don't see it happening. Which brings us to AJ. Our boy AJ, freaking AJ. The MVP, non-stoppable force of the Walking Dead universe. All he wants to do is hurt bad people and save his friends. Yes, that AJ. AJ has more chance to appear than Javier. And even then, AJ has less chance overall to appear if Skybound believes that their story is over. When Season 1 ended, after Lee's death, the gate was wide open for Clementine's sequel, or three cool. And they did just that. They made season two with Clem. But then they changed the directions, focusing away from Clem to other people. Of course, that didn't turn out so good. So they went back to Clem, the safest route. Skybound could use that same safe route. Instead of introducing a new character, they could go with AJ for a whole season, see player's response. His journey has just started. We need to know how he would handle a group. How'd he lead, plan, strategize things. What's his mindset on deep stuff? There's a lot to do with AJ. But then, at the same time, Telltale covered so much with AJ in Season 4, to the point where we played the entire third part of the game as him, even the ending. So it'd be a little too repetitive, but one that will be welcomed with open hands and full of hearts. 
But this was me rambling about this stuff. I want to know your thoughts on this. Javi or AJ to return to Season 5? What should Skybound do? Let me know all that stuff down in the comments. And watch these videos. They're very interesting and trust me, you'll like them. Also, make sure to subscribe and help us get to 15,000 subscribers. You can also subscribe to me, Nicole Epic Fail, where I'll be uploading Let's Plays very soon. I'm Nicole, and until next time, take care and keep gaming.